So today's video is about a little tool that I created for our IT department. We have hundreds of these Cisco switches and there are times where we need to be able to get into the Cisco switch and configure it remotely even though the Cisco switch is not um, connected to the network yet. So it doesn't have a config um, but we aren't in front of the machine to be able to plug in to direct to it directly. So I created this ESP32 based Wi-Fi Telnet gateway and I used a library called Telnet Lib and it creates a Telnet server that runs on the ESP32 so you can use PuTTY or other terminal program to Telnet to the ESP32 and it takes the input from the Telnet and using a RS-232 converter, TTL to RS-232, it then outputs what you send in your terminal session to the console port. Now, it doesn't have to be a Cisco switch. It could be any serial device that uses RS-232. You can send and receive data to it from a putty session, for instance, and get the same prompts as if you had plugged a console cable from the laptop directly into the switch, but you can do it from wherever your Wi-Fi connection could reach. Someone could pull a switch out of the closet, stick it on a bench, plug this adapter into it, and if their firewalls can configure correctly, tech support on, in New York could can remotely configure a switch for them, uh, even if they're in California, um, without having to have any config on the switch previously. Um, this, the, this switch can be configured remotely. Or in just even in, in a factory setting like we have here, where you've got switches out on the floor, they may no longer uh, connect to the network, or they get moved to a different uh, subnet, and instead of bringing them back to the IT office, um, the tech team can just plug this into the console port, and the IT department can configure the switch remotely. So it's all your same commands, show run, um, you know, whatever you need to do, with that switch, everything is available just as if you were plugged in to the console port directly. You can do it over your network, over your Wi-Fi, or um, you could put an Ethernet connection on it and do it that way. Whatever works for you. So anyway, the code, the link to my GitHub account will be down below. The parts list and pictures and whatnot are on my GitHub account. You'll see it down below. Thank you very much.